to start it. There you go. Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, uh, on the subject of the petty politics of a communist Black Lives Matter mayor, uh, we have with us tonight the wonderful young woman who is noted for being time and a half for me from my intern, uh, Katina Person, our conservative commentator and blog talk host. Good evening, young lady. It's an honor and privilege to have you on the air with us tonight. I'm doing quite well, doing quite well. So glad to have you here. Listen, I, I, I've i been talking about the fact that um, this mayor that we have in District Columbia, Muriel Bowser, uh, is virtually a communist uh, in chief. And she... We had enough money to paint the street Black Lives Matter Plaza, but we didn't have enough money to keep the National Guard in hotels. So explain to me, how is that possible? Exactly. Now, the schools went crazy when women took control. Mm -hmm. That's when all the, you know, all the socialism and the coddling to the bad students. What, what we're seeing now is the same thing that happens in our schools across the country. Everything is done to make everything comfortable for these misbehaving bad students and completely ignore all of the students who are just trying to do the right thing. That's exactly what we've seen on a grand scale. Exactly. And, and, and query here <clears throat> to you, <clears throat> because I've said this before uh, earlier this week, and it was validated by a Wall Street Journal story 
uh, by Joshua Jameson uh, later on this week that black men are leaving the Democrat Party in droves. But it's black women that are trying to hold black men into the Democrat Party. Can you explain to people why I'm making that assessment if I'm, if I'm on the right track here? You are 100% on the right track. <laughs> that is exactly what's going on. That is exactly what's going on. And you want to know why, why the black women are, are joining the Democrat Party? Because they have been told that they are going to be the majority of the party. You are so eloquent. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> but it's true. It's true. Black women have been told that they can't make it without government. Um, that they have the right to kill a baby if they want to. Um, and that they can do bad by themselves and they don't need a black man in their life. And, and they can get on well without any type of spiritual support uh, from the Holy Book, they can easily go to uh, a preacher who will just go along with whatever they want and say. Uh, and then there are black men who are, who are looking at this and saying, wait a minute, a white man can't tell me I'm not black because I support Donald Trump. Uh, I, and, and there was one other thing he said yesterday, Joe Biden, where well, he said 13, uh, 10 to 15 percent of the people in this country are not good at all. Now, a lot of a lot of uh, white Americans took that as Hillary Rodham Clinton, but you all you all misunderstood something he said because it came right after using the stat that we make up 13 percent of the population. So based on that, there are more police brutality situations with us as black people than with white. So when you think about what he said, that 13% fits perfectly between his 10 and 15%. He is saying that the worst problem in America is black America. Am I right about this? Exactly. I wanted to talk with you tonight about the fact that Muriel Bowser did not find a problem with kicking out the National Guard from Utah. Uh, senator Lee was quite aggravated by that as he's the senator uh, from Utah, the senior senator. Uh, and this is the same woman who's been begging. And people don't understand what happens behind the scenes. The woman that you see with all that straight up hood nonsense in public ain't the same person when she's on the phone with people that she got to get money from and she's been begging for people to bail her out of a two billion dollar uh, loss on the city so far this year uh, and the government's not bending by her kicking them out she is not winning any favors out of Congress am I right about that Yeah. You know, they want the federal government to basically support their nonsense. And that's why, and I'm telling you, I'm going to 
20 miles an hour driving in the District of Columbia. And you're right. It's Agenda 21, United Nations. They're trying to el eliminate fossil fuels and eliminate you having that desire. But also, I, I, I want to tell you, because we spend a lot of time on Facebook, and I really appreciate what you do, uh, and I adore what you write. Um, but one of the things that I, I, I talked about earlier this week was uh, that I was going to West Virginia to get my hair cut and to get groceries because I don't have to wear a mask there. And black leftists, wow. black leftists came out of nowhere. They were angry and bitter. Bye, Felicia. Take your money. Take your car. Do what you want to do. But there was a white liberal who came in right behind and joined them in the condemnation and then admitted later on in the same feed, well, I'm in West Virginia too, uh, so I had to stay here with my sister. And I'm like, wait a minute. How come you, you black leftists don't condemn her for the same thing? She escaped D.C. <laughs> you know, I don't know what to say. Because they never because they never really look at the people that are hypocrisy. There you go. conservatives because I know you love conservatives why aren't conservatives lining up and saying keep Robert Lee up keep that statue where it is
I wanted to ask you a finality tonight. And, and first, I want to give you a compliment that my intern said uh, to me that you're time enough for me every Friday night that you come on. Uh, and, and that's why she listens to the show on Friday nights. You know, not because of me, but because of you. Uh, so But in, in this particular sense, the good news today is that the unemployment rate fell to 13.3 percent. But the black unemployment, the black unemployment rate rose to 16 percent. And people were immediately saying, "Oh, see, oh, see, that's systemic racism." When I believe that it's simply because in the states where most black people work, they haven't been open for business yet. A am I right? A am I? On Ah. Exactly. A straight up fool. I agree with you wholeheartedly. <laughs> Listen, people love listening. Yeah, I would say it too. Straight up. Uh, listen, people love listening to you and they love what you write. How can people watch what you do and, and say? Awesome. Awesome. 
ladies and gentlemen, the woman who's time enough for me on my own show, none other than Katina Person. <laughs> Well, thank you so much. God bless you. I look forward to talking to you soon. Oh, bye bye, ladies and gentlemen. None other than Katina Person. I'm telling you, rock solid conservative right there, baby. Rock solid conservative. Listen, we gotta take a break. When we come back from that break, uh, we'll have more of the best in urban conservative talk, news and information, all that kind of stuff. We are a republic, not a democracy. We're not the mob. I'm your host, the exceptional one, Kevin McClinton. Uh, we'll be right back. Mm -hmm. 